Recently, I've been coming across a ton of lost cargo videos on YouTube. Pretty much when packages are being shipped, they get lost sometimes and that's called lost cargo. So I decided to take a look for myself and you'll never believe what I found. I found an auction for iPhones of lost cargo for $800. There was about eight iPhones in this package and I really, really wanted it to see what condition they're in. So of course, you know we had to bid for it. I was kind of in a bid war, just placing bids as it went higher and higher and higher. But luckily, five minutes before it sold, I put the final bid in for $1,000. And now, the box of lost cargo iPhones is mine, and we're about to unbox it. Make sure to stay till the end, because if one of these iPhones are good, I'm gonna be giving it away to you guys. I feel like no one really thinks about where lost cargo goes. Like, what if your package never came in? Where does it go? I've never been more excited for an unboxing. <gasps> oh my goodness. Here's the first, wait. So I guess they use this as like bubble wrap? I thought these were the actual packages. Oh my gosh. You're kidding me. We bought this package for a thousand dollars, which is expensive, but for all the iPhones we have in here, this is actually insane. Okay, this is so heavy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna go an iPhone at a time to check them out and see if they work. So this one is looks like an iPhone 7. I'm gonna double check because I haven't seen one of these in a really long time. See if it turns on. Please turn on, please turn on. I have no idea what condition these are in. Okay, so far, this one is in really, really good condition on the outside. As of right now, the iPhone's not turning on, but I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in, and hopefully if it turns on, then at least we're good, but it's not turning on right now. Okay, so as you can see, I don't know if you guys can see on the camera, but the little dead battery sign popped up, so we know that it works. We just need to let it charge, and hopefully it's in good condition. I wanna get all my money back that I spent on this package. So this, oh, it turned on. <gasps> no! No, I just turned on the phone and this is what popped up. It has a huge screen defect. And there's a freaking password. No. Oh wait, the password is zero, 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 zero. I just guessed it. We got the password. Okay, okay, I was so scared there for a second. I was like, no, we cannot be locked out of this phone right now. Okay, this is so weird. Open the iPhone and it says remote management. So pretty much somebody is trying to manage this phone without having it so it has some kind of like it says harris steel it's a company remote management manages this phone so this phone is not looking good right now it has like some kind of like management lock on it where i have to be working with this company so that we can use the phone so right now this one's looking like a big bust although it's in really good condition and it's a newer phone the screen has major defects on it which is not looking good and is locked by some company no that's already one phone down that's not working if we don't get our money back on this package i'm gonna be so upset so i think we're gonna have to put this one to the side for right now because we cannot get into it unless we have credentials from this company it's not looking good for us right now all right let's grab another phone the next phone we have here looks like an iphone x and let's go ahead and see if it works the condition on this one is actually really good as well I don't know if there's any scratches or anything like that let's hope it turns on okay this one's not turning on either so i'm assuming it needs to be charged okay moment of truth let's see if the little battery symbol pops up okay the battery symbol popped up so for this iphone this is the iphone 10 and right now an iphone x unlocked pre-owned is going for about 260 dollars so if this one turns on we could get 260 dollars for this I'm really hoping at least one of these iPhone works because I want to give it to you guys. Okay, so the iPhone 10 is turning on. Please don't have any bugs. Please don't have any bugs. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this screen does not have any problems with it. This is the, the second iPhone and I'm super happy because I was worried that this one might also be broken. If this one is unlocked, that's gonna be crazy if this actually works. Okay, so this one looks like it's gonna set up properly. It's just taking a super long time to load. It may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. 
Oh my gosh, I think this one actually worked. Please, 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 please. I'm probably gonna give this one to you guys. We still have a lot of iPhones to go though, so I still have high hopes. Let's open the next iPhone. The next iPhone looks like an iPhone 11, which is awesome because this is actually a really new phone. It looks like it has like one little scratch on here. This one also doesn't have any major defects on it. It looks almost brand new, so we might have got a deal with this one. Oh, this one's turning on. Oh my gosh, okay. <gasps> I'm so nervous. No! This one has a huge screen defect as well. As you can see, it looks like it was dropped in the corner of the screen and pretty much making it even hard to use at this point. Hopefully this one doesn't have a lock on it too. It says an update is required to activate your phone. Learn more at apple.com slash support. This is not looking good for us right now. So far, it just, the only option it gives me is to shut down. I'm gonna have to look further into this one and see if we can actually get it to start working. So at least it's worth something, but with the screen down, Damage, I don't know how much it's gonna be worth. On to iPhone number four. So this is iPhone number four and it is not looking too good. This one is the iPhone 11 Pro. And this one would have been worth so much money if, if the screen wasn't actually jammed to the max. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and see if it at least works. So that way maybe we can sell it for parts. Okay, it turns on. Hey, sometimes you can get the screen replaced and you can do it pretty cheap. So this one though, it looks like someone freaking stepped on it or something. Like how the heck do you drop your phone that hard? Okay, so this one does work and it does turn on. However, it looks like there's some major screen malfunctions because I can't click anything. Like I'm like pressing it super hard. This one might not even be usable, honestly. Guys, I think this one's another dud. The screen is just unusable. It literally will not click. I mean, it can scroll apparently. This one I think is gonna have to be another dud because if the screen doesn't work, then obviously we're not gonna be able to get anything for this iPhone 11. It's so sad because this is such a new phone and if it was in good condition, we could get a lot of money for it. We are like halfway through and I'm not seeing any value right now. On to the next iPhone, oh my goodness. This one must have had a quite the beating in shipping because it's absolutely destroyed. Like this is not even funny at this point. Like the front and the back are just absolutely, this one's probably not gonna be worth anything, especially considering it's an XR. I don't even know why they would give this to me. Like at this point, like it got messed up so bad in shipping. What was the point, like seriously? Luckily, we do have more iPhones. Oh my gosh. This is absolutely wrecked. This one is another iPhone 11 that is just shattered. Like I'm getting glass all over the place just using this. Like this is ridiculous. I don't even know what to say at this point. We spent a thousand dollars on this package and right now all of these are unusable. I don't even know if it's worth it to see if it turns on. It's not turning on. I don't really know what to say about this point. Like we're, it's really not looking good for me right now, but this one's an iPhone 11 64 gigabyte. I have to put this up because if not, there's going to be glass all over my fingers. That's how bad of condition it is. iPhone six is a bust. Oh my gosh, no. The iPhone 11 blue is just terrible condition. Like honestly, someone must have dropped the box down a five story window because this is trash. The literal shell of the iPhone is popping off on it and it's just like the screen is sliding off and everything. There's no way this one can turn on. If it turns on, I'm honestly scared it's gonna electrocute me. Of course it doesn't turn on. This is iPhone 7 and it is busted. Just absolutely destroyed is an iPhone 12. It said that there was lost cargo iPhones it didn't say that there were absolutely destroyed iPhones. Why would someone even ship this at that point? Like, it's literally, I can't believe I just lost a thousand dollars. When I was buying this package, I originally thought that it was going to have iPhones that got lost in shipment in really good condition, but turns out none of the phones are working. iPhone one is locked by a manufacturer, so unless I work at that manufacturing place, it's not gonna work for me. iPhone number two is in really good condition. However, for some malfunction software, it's not letting me turn it on. It's saying I need to contact Apple support. iPhone number three has been setting up for about 15 minutes now and still no luck on this one. IPhone number four is an iPhone 13 that turns on, but the screen is actually 
destroyed and there's no way you can use it. iPhone 6, 7, and 8 are just actually garbage. Like none of these iPhones are even usable at, just because of the condition they're in. They're so shattered and none of them will turn on. These are pretty much just junk at this point. This phone, the iPhone 10, is really our only hope at this point. But the way it's working right now, it does not seem like it's going to work. I thought when I was buying Lost Cargo that they were going to be in decent condition, that they were just lost. But most of these got absolutely destroyed in shipping. And the ones that aren't are just malfunctioning. Overall, the moral of the story is do not buy auction Lost Cargo because it's not going to work out for you. Let me know in the comments down below what I should do with all of these phones. And make sure to subscribe and because I just lost a thousand dollars. So if you guys want a chance to win this iPhone once I get it started up, make sure to go follow my Instagram right here and I will update you guys on giveaway details on this phone. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Let me get what I'm gonna say. Oh my gosh. Does this thing still even work? I've dropped it so many freaking times already.